He's, a, new, he's young he's compared to young. the oldest player in the NFL. He, he's not, he actually called it the young OJ. That's what we call that, the young OJ. Like he's still young. If you have won an MVP, you can't be a Bro, new kid he on can, the block. He can yeah. barely yeah. rent a car from a rent-a-car place. And barely. He's, he's the best player in about the world. 25, 25, isn't it? To rent a car? Yeah, 25. Yeah, he's, he's 26. Yeah, 400 million. I mean, we're just arguing. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shady, I'm going to you, big dog. Uh, you played for the Bucks. You won a Super Bowl. You remind me all the time. You played for the Patriots. You won a Super Bowl. You, again, remind me all the time. You played for the Chiefs. You won a Super Don't Bowl. Don't ever again. say you I played for the Patriots ever again. <laughs> um, who's got more pressure, man? Is it Patrick Mahomes on Sunday or Tom Brady? I'm, I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes, and this is the reason why. I think it's more pressure because he has to be perfect. Right? I feel like if, if you watch the Chiefs offense and you, you, you circle um, um, Travis Kelsey, right? He's the main guy. Circle him. And then who's next? Especially the wide receiver um, room. Who else are you going to defend? So I feel like Patrick Mahomes has to be perfect. I got to make every perfect pass. I watched Juju last week against the Colts, who I think is a very, very bad team. You watch that game and, like, he's covered. His biggest catch was, like, 40 yards, but he was covered like crazy. I don't know how he caught it. That's not what happened over and over again. You throw that ball five times, he catches one of them. So I think he has more pressure. And then also that defense. That defense is tough for, for the Bucks. I mean, I, stop me if this is weird. I agree with Shady. <laughs> <laughs> if Patrick. you want to be right, disagree no, with me, brother. It is Patrick Mahomes. And the real, like, first, okay, first of all, first of all, I mean, Tom Brady's kind of Teflon at this point in his mm -hmm. career, right? At least at, at this, this early in the season, absolutely. Plus, I've talked about it over and over again, like, Tom Brady has reinforcements coming. Like, Evans is back for this game. Mike Evans. Chris Godwin will be back eventually. Julio Jones, you assume, will be back at some point. Like, we know why the Bucs are struggling, and that will change. This is what the Chiefs have. And every time they struggle, my man over here, 2-5, two five, two is going to remind you that they don't have hey, Tyreek. Has he earned They're the right to call now. you 2-5? You know he hasn't. So, <sighs> listen. Refer to me as Shady, Shady please. Sean McCoy. Do you feel me? Don't mess it up again. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do I have to carry like two pads? Five, yeah. oh two five. Be, you yeah, got to go right. through some things. We went through some things yeah, together. Yeah, you know you know what I'm saying? LaShawn, all right? I'm sorry. You're, exactly. It's going to be Mr. Shady. McCoy in a second. I'm sorry, Mr. McCoy. What's wrong with him? Point is, every time this dude struggles, <laughs> LaShawn is going to have something <laughs> right. to say about it. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, it is It is Patrick Mahomes. Joy, more pressure, Mahomes. I also agree with Mr. McCoy. <laughs> Not sure you can call me too far. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Come on, man. Uh, oh, gee, listen, this is how it goes. This is how it goes, Dave. <laughs> uh, no, I agree with you because, one, one what, what, what kind of pressure does Tom Brady ever have? But I love this matchup because it's such a good way to measure what the Chiefs actually are. Like, we've been talking about this in our, in our, in our group chat. Like, what's, are they going to be able to do this against Tom Brady and the Bucks? They don't have any more reinforcements coming. This is what they're going to have to do. Patrick Mahomes is going to have to be perfect. They've been pretty good on the offensive side of the ball this far through the season. They rank fourth in the NFL in points per game, seventh in yards per game. They've only allowed two sacks this season. That's tied for the fewest. And they're going up against a Bucks defense that's allowing the fewest points per game in the league. So that's a perfect matchup. This is the best way for the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes to measure what their offense really is. Go up against a team like the Tampa Bay Bucks who's not letting anybody score. Mm. If they can get it done this weekend against Tampa Bay, you got to feel good about yourself if you're Kansas City, even without Tyreek Hill. This is the best way to measure what you got at this point in the season. It's the perfect opponent. As far as Tom Brady and the, and the Bucks go, to everyone's point, they're getting pieces back. Yeah. They're going to be fine. We've seen Tom Brady do this how many times? So I don't have any doubts about whether they're going to get it on track or not. It's just I mean, a matter of if they're going to do it in the postseason this year. But we know what Tom Brady is, and we know what they can be when everybody's healthy. They have, you know, it's a game time decision for Godwin and Jones and Donovan Smith. Maybe they'll play, maybe they won't, but they are at least getting Mike Evans back, and they'll yeah. be back eventually. So to me, this is a great pressure game for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. Shady, former Bucks cornerback, Seahawks cornerback, Niners cornerback. Future Hall of Famer Richard Sherman Richard on his Sherman. podcast with Dean. I forget Dean's first name, number Jamal. 35. Jamel Dean, Jamal, Jamel. Dean. Uh, I know, I'm like, somebody, Jay Dean. Um, he said that the Chiefs wait, wait, offense... what did he say? He said the Chiefs offense looks totally different. He you, said it not as scary. Did. That's he what did. he said. He said they're not as scary, they're yeah. not as explosive. You've been on this train early. Riddle me this. Will the Chiefs, in your mind, get exposed playing against one of the best defenses in football on Sunday? <sighs> A lot of pressure. All right, expose. I, I can't <laughs> expose for who they are. I, I, I can't um, put expose with, with 
Patrick Mahomes okay. and Andy Reid. Okay. That doesn't go well. But let me nice answer this. I'm going to answer, I'm, I'm answer for you. Okay. I, I think that Andy Reid and himself is the GOAT, yeah. right? And he's going to find ways to get things popping on yes, offense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember him saying this. Uh, Deshaun and him had a little disagreement about something. He said, listen, I'll venture. Uh, he said, I, I said, I, I, <laughs> you can say I, that word. You can say I, that I've won, He said, I've won one. playoff games. Without T.O. and Todd Pinkston. I know y'all don't even know. Don't know. Right, I know okay. Todd Pinkston. So, yeah, so, so I just say that Andy Reid can get it done and Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. But to answer your question, Please not do. exposed, Please but do. I've been saying it. I played over there. I've seen it. They're not as explosive. Andy Reid's an explosive offensive coach. That's who Patrick Mahomes is. We watched last night them deep balls of Tariq Hill. If, if his tool is healthy and he's not out there and you put Pat in there, that's six. Twice. You see what I'm saying? So... It's a different team, even with McCole Hartman doing all, all the fast stuff. It's not the same look. Will it come back to bite them on Sunday? Will it finally? I, I, they beat. They yes, walked the Cardinals. I, they beat the Chargers. Uh, what was it? Forty-four points, twenty-seven points. 20, yes, forty-four and twenty-seven. Forty-four and twenty-seven. I, I think, Will I it think, come back to bite them on Sunday? I think so. I think they'll do a great job of trying to contain Kelsey, which is uh, super hard to do, right? They'll probably double him. They probably play man. And put, it's a lot of pressure for Patrick Mahomes, and I see the wide receivers can't get no separation. Let me ask this though. Because we know, you know, the, the, the styles make fights. Mm -hmm. And I agree. They don't have the knockout punch. You agree, your boy? Yes, I do. They okay, don't. Okay. I, I, you I have did it. before. You have it. I did but before. It, but hold on real quick. You good? It, look, look. In the, uh, in the text, group text. It's good. not that she we finally don't said, agree with you. Shady, you were right. No, no, no. Hold but on. I, I don't want to pass off on the back. Oh, too late. I did. <laughs> <laughs> too late. I did. <laughs> too late I, did. I don't oh, agree with you. On. I just still think they can be good. They can. They got Patrick Mahomes and they got They don't have the knockout punch without Tyreek Hill. That's for sure. But every boxer doesn't have that. We've seen fighters win with a bunch of punches. Where are the other guys out? We've seen Tom Brady not have a knockout punch in New England's death by a thousand cuts. That's what we used to it's call different. it. Now, I know I don't compare anybody to Tom Brady. But I'm saying there are multiple ways to run your offense. Like Tyson? I've never seen Tyson without a knockout punch. Yeah. True. But Floyd does it. But Floyd does it. Hold on. But hold on. I'm glad you said that. Uh oh The Chiefs offense is not a Floyd Mayweather offense? High power up top, air on, air on, and speed is everywhere. But can't Andy Reid adjust the best to the thing, new personnel? The best teams adapt, man. That's what Here, they do. But here's, here's what actually I think the difference is. It's not about Floyd's offense. Right. It was always about Floyd's defense. defense. The Chiefs don't have the defense a bad boy. to fight like Floyd. Yeah, he's a bad man. Yeah, he's a bad man, man. He still hit the opponent while Enough. being defensive. Enough. That's my point. Correct. That's the misconception about Floyd Mayweather, is that he was the greatest, is the greatest defensive boxer of all time. But he was still hitting the other guy. It's Correct. not like he was just blocking every punch and not doing anything. Well, go ahead, Dave. Let's just, let's, I mean, they're not as good as the Bucks. I think the Bucks have the best defense in the league right now, but the Chiefs' defense, and they're not bad. No, no, that's bad. a good but, defense. But I don't think they're good enough. When we talk about Tom Brady having won all those Super Bowls, remember he had his first couple years a number second-ranked defense, second-ranked defense, fourth-ranked defense, second-ranked defense in four of his first five years. Chiefs currently have the 16th-ranked defense. Yeah. So it's like if Mahomes is going to be Floyd and the Chiefs are going to be Floyd, y'all better step y'all defense up. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.